What's up? This is July from Kickback Couture, and today I will be showing you how I get inspired and create my melodies and get into making my beats and programming my drums. In this video, I will specifically be talking about the creation of melodies. So what I usually do is grab one of my favorite plugins or something I'm familiar with or even something that is brand new to me and I start playing with the notes. So I'm going to start with a keyist. Going to grab a key sound. If you don't have a keyboard, of course, messing with this is also a valid way of doing that. So I'm just going to put some notes in, see what I come up with. Draw this clip. And I'm going to use, if you would like, you could add a player to this, but I'm going to use D sharp minor and I know the scale. The way you add the player is just drag it on just like that. You just drop it. Then you pick which scale you want and it will automatically alter your notes and change it to one that's in the scale if you play an incorrect note. I'm going to bypass that so that if I decide to use a different scale later I don't have to go change it, I could just change how I'm playing I'm gonna bring these down to octave, control down so one trick when you've played your melodies slower than you want it to Go to the toolbox and where it says scale, you want to hit double. So select all of them and you want this these notes to play double so it's faster. If you want it half, it's going to be slower. So double time, half time. Command up. Gonna bring this down. Hit the keys as I'm going to hear what I'm going to do next. So, let's say I like that. So I'm going to hit Command A, duplicate it so I can play the whole loop or however you have your loop set up. If you don't have your loop set up, just right click this and set loop to selection and it will automatically do that. Alternatively, hold down Option, click to move the left locator, hold down Command to move the right locator. Whoops. Now obviously this is a simple melody so I can always change and add things as I go. What I'm going to do just to give this a little bit of effects, I'm just going to add a common halftime. So cable guys, halftime, going to move this down to one half loop. 
This is what it sounds like. If it plays. <laughs> there we go. Another thing you could do to get inspired besides going through presets and playing with the notes, let's say you add an arp and play with the arp. So I'm going to go get another instance of a kiss and I'm going to grab a piano. Let's try paranormal activity. So I'm going to grab this arp. There's a lot of arps. So if you don't want to use this one, you're not confined to this one. You have all the choices in the world. So, you have to put notes into it. So this is what it's going to sound like out of the box. You could change the rate. So there's a lot of ways you can get inspiration with this ARP. This is the velocity. And turning this on allows you to change the pattern. This allows you to pick the steps. It's kind of like the matrix. Now I'm already inspired to create a beat. So from there you just keep going. You can add more notes. Um, play with the ARP. I honestly don't use this ARP, but it is a way that you can get inspired. Personally, if I want to get inspired, I just play the notes, mess around on the keys, come up with something nice, and then I lay it down, draw it in, whatever works best for me at the moment. So yeah, that's how I get inspired to create my melodies and begin to make my beats from scratch. I just mess around with presets, put effects on things, go through some more presets, maybe even create my own sounds from scratch. It's, it's an open world, so let me know if you have any questions, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you would like to see next, and I'll see you on the next video. Look forward to speaking to all of you. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Keep the suggestions coming. Have a good night.